Hey, Ray Del Vecchio here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com, and I want to run through a quick feature today that just got added to WordPress version 6.2, and that's sticky positioning. That means you can create a sticky header that stays at the top of the page when you scroll. And this blog post on make.wordpress.org explains the feature in more detail. It tells you that it's enabled on the group block by default. Developers can build this into other blocks, but you're not going to see it by default on any other block except that group block. And it also mentions that because it can be a confusing feature to work with, especially with nested elements, this only works on group blocks at the root level to the document. So we'll keep that in mind and we'll go through this really quickly to show you how it's done. So we can navigate over to the appearance editor section. And right now I have the 2023 theme installed and I created a completely custom template in another tutorial, which I'll link up here in the top right. That's when we built this wedding videography website. And if you do watch that tutorial, you'll see that the editor window here has also changed with version 6.2. It looks different. And if you click on the templates or template parts, that used to show over here. But now this window just shows the preview. That's one of the things that makes WordPress a little harder to learn. And that's you're constantly dealing with these updates. Now, the positive is you have new features just like this that we're going to show you. So let's jump into the home page template that we're looking at right here. That's the front page template that I created within that tutorial. And if I click on the edit button here, now we can jump in and edit these blocks. I always like to open up the list view. At the root level, I have this cover element and everything is nested within that. The reason I did that is because of this repeating background pattern that you can see the teal stripes. But because we have to add this group block to keep it sticky, I need to drag this header outside of the cover element. So you're going to see that background image is not going to be within there anymore. So in order to get this within a group, we can hit that three dot icon and just Click the group option down here. That'll insert it into the group. And now with the group block selected, we can go over to the settings. And the new feature here is under the position dropdown. So I can make this sticky. And you'll see that our header sticks to the top. And right now, I don't have a background color set. Another change with 6.2 is that you have this styles option here. Some of these styles used to be on the bottom of this menu. And you can see they give you a little notification here. It says if you're looking for other block settings, they move to the Styles tab. So let me go to the Styles tab on this group. I'll set the background color to white. And then when we scroll, now we have our sticky header. So that's how to do it. It's very simple. I'll include the link to the blog post that we were looking at at the beginning of this video if you want to read more about this feature. And then also within the description, you can take my free WordPress training course and we dig into all the basics. You'll get a more broad tour of the admin area. You'll learn about the WordPress database. And I also have a free membership where you can access a bunch more of my videos, track your progress as you learn WordPress and learn how to create a website. And then once you get to that point, you might start thinking about freelancing. That's how I earn recurring income. I create and manage websites for local businesses. So if you want to learn how to do that, you can get that cheat sheet, 15 tools to start your web design business at my homepage, WebsiteProfitCourse.com. That's also in the description below. Last but not least, give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. If you got any other questions about WordPress, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you get updated when I publish new WordPress tutorials and web design freelancing videos. As you can tell, WordPress is always changing. I think we're in for an interesting couple of years with the visual editing. So your support helps me create these free tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you have a great day.